So are you ready for the All-Star game? Oh my god, yeah. Dude, it's been just exhaust mentally exhausting the past few days. I'm just trying to like figure out everything I need to bring because it's one of those it's like six days and I'm like, okay, I need to have all That's my a long stuff. Trip. It is. And I'm like, uh, I don't know how many clothes I should bring uh, like around six days worth. So I'm like, how am I going to pack mm -hmm. all this in my suitcase and bring back whatever I get from there? Cause they're going to have like pack light shoes. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, okay. This is going to be interesting, but yeah, dude, so stoked. They just sent me the itinerary for everything for the week and it slammed. So I'm like, okay, let's, that's let's roll. So cool, dude. <laughs> let's do it, man. Luckily, I'll have a few friends up there. Um, I hit up Morgan's Sneaker Room because he lives in Indianapolis. So we're going to mm -hmm. meet up a little bit, hopefully. Oh, there we're you go. Busy. Yeah. Um, Brendan Dunn, going to hang out with him. Excited about that. Really? Des, all those guys as well. Yeah, I DM'd Des Brendan. Des at every event. <clears throat> exactly. Dude, he he was at the Super Bowl. I was like, I know. <laughs> Adidas I brought that. him out to the Super Bowl. I was like, that's not fair. That's crazy. Yeah, he's got a fun gig. That alone, dude. That's the dream. But, you know, have some friends. Hopefully, won't get into too much trouble and just no, do good. what I'm there to do. But That's so cool. Yeah. Head out you gotta tomorrow. You got to brush up on your NBA knowledge now. I still need to do that. <laughs> That's a that's a on the plane thing, I guess. There you go. But yeah, it's been in the, the back of my head for the past week. Anthony Edwards, he's the fun one. He's the yep. Minnesota Timberwolf. Carl Anthony Towns will be there from the Timberwolves. They're both reserves. Nice. Um, I'm trying to think, big ones: Giannis, Jalen Brunson. I mean the the big names, but uh, yeah. Anthony Edwards, he's he's the man in my. He's mind. like the only one I care about, which whatever, it is what it is. Well, I mean, you were at the event and stuff, the launch yeah. of the shoes and stuff. So and he's from Atlanta, and his signature shoe is gas. <laughs> like I'm. Oh, I know. It, <laughs> I know. I got I'm a few pairs myself. <laughs> I'm excited, dude. And there's no oh, one of fun. the things they have us doing. It's like Adidas and the state of like basketball like a big mm -hmm. meeting with the Adidas team. So I'm like, oh, I'm looking forward to this. Kind of see what they're planning. Cause they're a they're like inline basketball attire is sick. And I really hope I can get some. But it's very like fear of God. -esque. That's sweet. So Good I'm quality like, stuff. Okay, let's let's see what happens. But <laughs> yep. I got a busy week ahead of me. But what you got going on? I saw your fixing up some stuff at the house today yep yep podcast another new room i think i'll be here for the long haul um yeah i ended up kind of taking my desk apart in the basement and switching things up a little bit and just took some shelves out inside to repair some holes in the wall which never done that but you know how to do that <laughs> right now. so we're in the this is the guest room we were just talking i'm gonna get a new webcam and i think seth might as well so we can get some clips going again just because sold my video my E7 IV, and I don't have streaming functions on my FX3 right now, which is crazy. Which is but so crazy, yeah. We're figuring it out. But, uh, yeah, just been moving around, and then busy, busy week, a lot of content. So Happy belated birthday, well, by the way. You. I appreciate yeah. it. Of course. Got out of town, got one up north, and just kind of relaxed, unplugged for the weekend, which was really nice. So That's yeah. what I need. I'm just, instead, I'm getting away for the weekend and plugging in. So no, you're getting busy. Like... Yeah, it's a grind different. time. A little different. But, it's grind uh, time, but yeah. nice little so, trip away. What was that? You had a nice little trip away, though. Yeah, no, it was good. We uh, went up into Duluth area of Minnesota, two harbors, and it's just beautiful up there, the scenery and stuff. So we got a sweet little Airbnb out in the middle of nowhere, which was pretty fun. No, no running water or anything. So it was oh, it was sick. fun. I mean, we. Uh, we like doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, yeah, it was, it was good. And then, uh, came back to a whole bunch of packages and a whole bunch of content that needs to be done. I got, uh, bread fours. I got to film that tonight, get that mm. done. Um, Austin Reeves, Valentine's day shoes. Got to drop that tomorrow because tomorrow's Valentine's day. So I got to film that and get that out <sighs> for tomorrow. Um, right. And then, uh, 
super, super cool package from Canada Goose I was just telling you about. Uh, I'm so probably jealous. one of my favorite companies to work with is yeah, Canada Goose, just Minnesota and like very familiar with their apparel and their winter clothing and their shoes. And so a few months ago, probably six to eight months ago, they sent me their shoes, which I wear them all the time, actually. They're really comfortable. They're really good in the water when it's raining out. Um, yeah. And they sent me a jacket. It was a really cool like PR box. And they hit me up about a week and a half ago about the Kids Super NBA collection. And they said, hey, we're going to send you something from the collection. And there was a reversible jacket. There was uh, like a beanie that you could wear. And then there was this green moss pullover jacket, like a zip mm. up. And I was like, if there's any way I can get this, this is the coolest jacket I've ever seen in my life. And like our wedding yeah. colors were green, like green's the color next to yellow and orange. I like, but green's like, it's so cool. So I was like, yeah. and they're like, well, like if like, it's totally dependent on sizing, like we'll send you it. And mind you, this is, this thing retails for like 1100 bucks. So I would <laughs> never ever spend that much money on a jacket. Insane. I mean, it's, it, it's yeah it's one of those things that if i got it i'm gonna be wearing it all the time and so i was waiting all day for the ups man to show up finally showed up peeked inside and i got the green jacket so mm. i'm over the moon about that it's just i mean it's something i'm gonna be wearing all the time like i'm gonna be rocking the hell out of this thing yeah um so i'm pretty hyped about that so that showed it's up it's just a unique piece too oh it's so cool s- something it's to- so cool some yeah, flair it, it's it's yeah it's fl- i think it's reversible too if i'm not mistaken which is pretty cool yeah. i think it's just there's a black layer on the outside which then it's going to be really warm so yeah pretty hyped about that i filmed the unboxing and stuff right before we hopped on here so hyped about mm. that and then yeah just a lot of like random stuff that's dropping that champs is kind of plugging me in on the uh Anthony Edwards all-star shoes are dropping at the all-star game. I think they're dropping on the 16th, uh, which is pretty cool. It's like a purple iridescent shoe. We talked about those uh, Mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. I think Um, the Scoot Henderson Cheetos collab showed up today, which is pretty cool. I'm excited about those. What is that? What are those for sure? What What was that? What is Scoot? Scoot Henderson's basketball player, NBA player. Oh, and so it's his collab with Puma and they did, um his first release was about a month or so ago and then they just did a cheetos collab which it's a pretty cool little marketing campaign behind it so i'm here it's pretty it. cool there and then um the, oh, the hats uh, you sold, hats out sold out they quickly sold out. yeah that was, was crazy. just gonna touch on that the yeah uh, that was another that. thing this weekend um yeah thank you to everyone who bought one huge thank you i we knew we'd sell out just because of the quality and the the material i mean everything with the glow in the dark the everything i mean the and i just figured this out there's two stash pockets one on each side i didn't know that <laughs> i thought there was just one so we love it and now that i'm thinking about that i actually have five bucks sitting in one of my purple ones my wine color ones that i gotta <laughs> find that i forgot to take that out of there when i was taking the photos for it so that's funny that's um funny yeah the gray sold out in six minutes which is nuts Dumb. And the wine sold out in a little under 40 minutes, um, which the wine almost sold out in six minutes. We had like 12 left after 10 minutes and then a couple trickled away. And then we had, I think, two left and we called it because I wanted the last one and Daniel wanted one um, nice. just to have his extra personal. So, yeah, we were pretty excited about that. But, yeah, I I was freaking out about it the whole day. I mean, I was because we were getting ready to go out of town at 11 and we ended up mm-hmm. kind of just sitting around. I filmed that in a little video to promote it right before the drop. And we, I mean, we do all the marketing push and you do everything, you get everything set up, you go through months and months of manufacturing and samples and then it all just happens and it's kind of wild. I mean, you don't yeah. really know what's going to happen. And Daniel has the website. I don't have like, I can't watch live orders because he's selling them on his website. So I don't know what's going on. And he texted me like five minutes later and he's like, yeah, we have 15 grays. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was, I literally texted him back. I was like, are you serious? Or are you just screwing with me right Is now? Is that a typo? <laughs> it's like, what? yeah, no, it was, let me show you the global order. I mean, he sent me a picture of like how many orders were coming in. 
and yeah. it was it was cr- i mean i don't even know what to say about it. i'm still kind of speechless about it it's just one of those things here's like all the dots with the orders around the country and that's minnesota's crazy. a hot spot la is a hot spot and that's where he is and then there's a bunch in the east coast which is pretty cool there's some there's a couple orders in hawaii all the way down to costa rica the dominican republic <laughs> i mean it was like it, crazy and then there was some overseas yeah. too which we did international shipping which not a lot of that's people awesome. knew about but we did do it everything was shipped right away um, so I think people are going to start getting them at the end of this week. So, Dude, yeah, I'm pretty over so the moon exciting. about that. Props to everybody out there that was able to help support. That's oh, yeah. I was over the moon. Uh, I'm just so stoked. One of them's up there. Wine one all the way up. There you go. I have to rotate them out every now and then. Cause <laughs> yeah, I just love looking at them, dude. I know I've said this before. I can't wear them, but damn it, they're stunning. No, so I I know you can't wear them, and I don't care. <laughs> I, I had to get them to you. I mean, it's because exactly. they they literally look good. Like I have one on my shelf in the basement now that I've kind of rearranged things again, and they just they look good because it's suede, it's it's butter. I mean, I mean, look at this. You can see you on my bad webcam how good that's that movement, is. baby. Yeah, so hyped about uh, that. So now we're on to we haven't even talked about the next drop. So. Maybe, maybe not happen. I don't know. <laughs> It'll it's another six months Eventually. down the line. So yeah. But and shout Still. out Daniel too. I don't think he listens to the pod, but he sent me a care package for my birthday of like thirty of his hats that he's dropped. So he's the man. Yeah. That's Love insane, Daniel. Dude. It's so good, good little yeah, partnership y'all have. What about you? What's been going on the last week besides getting ready for the All Star game? It's really I mean Everything leading up to getting ready, just been trying to pound out content. I literally, I don't even think I've been on social media in the past like three days, which <laughs> has been nice for me. Like, yeah, I've just, I have stuff I could post, but I just haven't posted. And I'm like, what do you I'll got to post? It. I'll do it eventually. I mean, like, dude, the drafts, at least for like the sneaker knockers page, I wonder if I can see how many i have just early stuff that needs to get out mm-hmm. still oh yeah there's 10 different videos oh drafted gosh and then i think i'm working on the final two tonight like most of those are no like no words just the kind of in hand music in the background but yep just trying to get everything laid out for them and then i'll pick and choose what i want to post later on um i got the pair from Noah in the Pumas, which I are just got those pretty today cool. Too. They're pretty yep. cool. I can't, I don't know if I'll rock them, but I like the look. So I made a little just in hand reel with those that I'll post tomorrow because they drop on the 16th or 15th or something like that. But Dude, there's too many things dropping this week that I don't know what to prioritize yeah. in terms of posting. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh man. To That's start another one. I totally posting. forgot those are dropping this week. Yep. The only reason I remembered is they have the little card in there and I was, I have it on my desk. So I will remember to post. And then I was reading it today and I was like, oh yeah, I should, I should do that tomorrow. So that'll probably be post that some photos along with it. But yeah, it's just been head down, knock out everything I possibly can before I leave. Cause I don't want to sit there and just edit the whole time when I get back. Yeah. Cause the goal is like I said, last week vlog at all. So I can just get back, edit the vlog, post it, hopefully the next day. And then from there, start filming the next day. But yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm just just over the moon excited. But outside of that, dude, I don't know. Um, what other pairs have I gotten in? Because there's some that I know I shared on Sneaker Knockers. But these I really like. The uh, Vivid Sulphur Air Jordan 4. It's a women's release, which sucks. So the shape is like a little weird. Like the toe box is a little bit more raised and everything. The leather is trash. And I made sure to mention that in my review that I post on my page, which I like that I'm starting to add all of that now. It's just tedious with the edit because I do my version (laughs) first. Then I change the subtitles to the sneaker knockers, take out a few things, and then 
have to basically re-edit it and restructure it. So I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, it's time consuming. But yep. So I made sure to say, oh, the leather's crap. So ha. Show it off for the camera a little bit too. Yeah, it's just I don't even know how much you can see it. It's just not like impressive. It's pretty standard as far as Jordan fours, but like when you compare it to the militaries or especially the reimagines, like mm-hmm. it's that plasticky leather. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's a Nothing bummer when they do that because we got so many good Jordans now. I mean, even the breads are going to be sitting for retail, probably. Retail yeah. resells already under three hundred, I think. So they're if like they're going to do bad material. They're really going to sit two fifty. Yeah, is I, that what they're sitting at? I think so. When I, I looked the other day, and I was like, "It's kind of yes. nice." They haven't even dropped yet. <laughs> so no. It's like, dude, no. that's crazy. But they're nice. Mean, I like the shape if, on them. If it was a men's pair, I'm sure the quality would be a little nicer because you know how they do that. But honestly, yeah. sometimes the women's shoes have the better quality. So it goes back and forth. I don't get it, yeah. man. But these I actually really like. The Sale Ooh. Air Jordan 5. I didn't know if I would like these at first, but it's kind of hard to see on camera. It's this nice white Nubuck. The tongue. Okay, so it is Nubuck. What's the Altsol look like? pretty sick translucent that kind of yeah aged look nothing too crazy and the tongue i don't even know it's Reflective. almost like a nylon material mm. but there's like a frayed edge on the side you can't really pick it up but it's this like little netting that kind of lines the frayed area that's black so it just gives it that's a sweet interesting texture to it but copper drop if I wore fives, this is probably the best five that I've seen in a while. Wow. Like, just, it's wearable. New Buck's going to get really dirty, obviously. Yeah. But I I've never even these. seen those, so. Yeah. Well, They're if clean. you go to hypebeast.com, you'll see the photos of these and those on the main page. So There you go. <laughs> that I thought was crazy. Um I don't have the Futuras anymore because I already shipped those out, but that is a shoe. I did not, I think I said this a little bit last week, didn't care about it at all when I first saw it. I was like, it's cool, but Futura is not really someone that's on my radar that I'm like, which don't really know or care much about it. But Mm -hmm. when I tried those on, I put on just like blue jeans, I think, or maybe black jeans, cuffed them up a little bit. And I was doing the on foot shots in the kitchen while Anna was FaceTiming her friend. And Anna looks over at me and she was like, I love those. I was like, I kind of like them too. And then she (laughs) flipped the phone to her friend and her friend was like, oh my God, those are sick. I was like, yeah, they are pretty (laughs) sick. (laughs) So I was like, okay, maybe my opinion's changing on them a little bit. But I like them a lot. It was just, you know. First impression, I was just like, it's cool. But yeah, I felt like they were a little too overhyped. And people were just kind of basing their opinion on the original dunks that he's done in the past. So I was like, mm-hmm. eh, everyone loves it. I hate it. I'm just that kind of guy. But yeah, fair enough. I like them. Excited for those to release. And what else? The Noah's. That's really it. Um, I can talk about these. <clears throat> I was going to bring them up later, but these are sick. So these are the James Harden Volume 8, and I don't know what this colorway is, something green, but Adidas actually sent me these out. I think they come out on maybe the 25th or something like that, and they hit me up. They were like, hey, we would love it if we could send you a pair of the new Hardens and you could take some photos on the basketball court in the Indianapolis airport, and we'll use it like you know for whatever promo for adidas and i said uh yes send them to me 100 percent. i'm a size nine or nine and a half my a ones are a nine for reference and they showed up today they told me they were going to give me the orange pair so i had in my mind an outfit that i was going to wear go with the orange so it looks good on whatever adidas decides to use it for mm-hmm. then the green pair shows up <laughs> i love that outsole dude Pink like they outsole. look they look really sick quality is nice this big like kind of they're definitely remnants and i can't even speak they 
They definitely remind me of the AE ones. It's like just that same kind of like teardrop shape. Yep. It's got this like really nice like black nubuck on the toe box that's like not even really attached. Sick like mesh or not mesh, but like knit sock liner and everything. Amazing. But they sent me a size 10 and not a nine or a nine and a half. So they fit me obviously a little big kind of sliding off my <laughs> the back of my heel a little bit but they also Double look like it, boats. Baby. exactly like they look like boats on my feet so now i kind of have to rework it the outfit for tomorrow because they want us to fly in these and travel and i'm like ah, okay i gotta gotta rethink everything now but shout out to adidas for sending me an unreleased shoe that's really cool that's a bucket list so now I'm never going to wear them after I fly in them, but they'll go up there. Go they'll on go the shelf. There. Maybe get them signed by somebody. That would be sick. That would be sick. It's Harden. But hard, I, don't, I don't know if he's going. James Harden. It'd be cool if he was. I don't think he's an all-star this year. Reportedly. If he's not he's a part of game last year. I wouldn't be surprised if Adidas just yeah he was one of the snubs this year out yeah it's weird but yeah so that's that's a cool shoe thanks Adidas love you Adidas plugging it but other than that what's other news this week um dude I wanted to There's talk about this to cover. there is uh, before we dive into sneakers have you been seeing Harrison Neville's recent posts on Instagram. He's been doing. Yes. It's. I don't even know how to describe it. He's been making videos that feel like someone who was just starting TikTok would make. I have seen those. <laughs> Your face when I said that. <laughs> and dude, I just like he first posted it. And Mo sent it to me, and I just said, I'm not going to say my response because it was kind of mean, but I was just like, what? Why is he posting this? So he's been doing these, like, here's sneakers that lost their hype, like, part, he's done, like, four parts of them now. Mm -hmm. And then today he posted the whole, like, here's all the sneakers we saw during the Super Bowl. And I'm like, what are you doing? Who? (laughs) Well, okay, so here's my, I'll play devil's advocate here. Please. First thing, he's the YouTube goat. If we posted yeah. a YouTube video, he'd probably be saying the exact same thing because we're true short people. True. So I'm, I'm back in Harry a little here. Second, I know they're doing numbers. I saw one of them had like 500K. So Of course. Third, they're giving me very, not necessarily new person, but like new person, but like 2019, 2020 TikTok. Fair. When we were doing TikTok. Viral video, boom, pound them out, just do them to do them type of deal. Yeah. So, but I have noticed that <laughs> I've looked at them. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's, I just thought it which, was hilarious. I applaud them for doing it. Maybe, I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere on shorts, but instead of taking the route of, I'm not going to do shorts at all. I'm just going to stick to YouTube. Yeah. At least he's doing it. <laughs> no, he, that is I've noticed. At it. least he's doing it. But I just wanted to mention that on the pod because I was curious what your thoughts were. And I always want to just comment on them and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. I don't know. No, I've I've noticed it. I've that's funny. The other thing too is I know I saw on um, Sophie, they moved to mm-hmm. Nashville, I think. Nashville. So, so I don't know if he has the warehouse right now. No. Oh, well, um, I mean, he he may still have it, but he's got. I mean, he's got so much stuff in there. And then the other thing too is I've seen him doing videos with Podium One Racing, which I don't yeah. know if you've seen those at all. Because um, mm-hmm. I follow him because they have the best racing simulators, and I just I've always wanted one of those, but yeah, never yeah. afford them because they're like fifty grand. But I've seen him doing videos with them, so. I don't know. We need an update video. <laughs> we need the. We need a on. life. We need the YouTube. The him in the f- thumbnail. The life update and all lowercase. We need. It's one of all those different videos. now. My last <laughs> <Yeah>. video. <laughs> my, this is my last video in the warehouse. 
I'm moving exactly. to Nashville. You know, exactly. Some stuff like so. that. But eh, en- enough about Neville. Let's uh let's dive into some of this sneaker news this week. Let's do it. So we're gonna start it off hot. Kanye back in the news. Shocker. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yeezy pods, the Yeezy sock shoe thing. Um, went from two hundred dollars to twenty dollars. I love that. Um, I bought a pair. Shipping Good. was fifteen dollars, so yep, thirty five dollars. Um, I, don't, I was close to bucks, buying a pair. Pants for twenty bucks. I don't really. Two hundred dollars is crazy. I'm glad I didn't buy a pair for content. Then they're also refunding yeah. people one hundred eighty bucks. For, Which that was huge. Yep. Yep. Which a lot of people were mad. Uh, honestly, he so. should have kept the evil image and not refunded people, and it would have been funnier. This would have been a story a couple of years from now. Oh, I remember when I paid two hundred dollars for Easy Pods, but um, it's insane. yeah, all because how many units? I think it was like two hundred sixty-six thousand units because of that Super Bowl commercial, which I didn't even yep. see during the I Super missed Bowl. It. Yeah, I mean. I was also kind of just half watching the whole time anyway, but same. Yeah. I would have loved to see that because apparently it was like, you know, $7 million and they didn't even shoot a commercial. It was just him in the car or something like that. Good way to do it like, though. It's like, that's gnarly. That's punk rock right there. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Easy pods. I don't really have yeah. much to say about it. Well, I'm excited to see your review. I hope. I don't even know if you, I'll uh, review them, but maybe. Should wear test. <laughs> Dude. I just wanted to buy a pair just to have them wear test them. Oh Thirty day wear gosh, test. I could never pods. do that. You'd have to do that in the summer, dude. Your feet, your feet, you get frostbite. I got to do another wear test now that you remind me. Speaking of wear tests, I was planning on uh, this isn't a news topic we're going to talk about, but the Jordan One yeah. High Metallic eighty five. Mm-hmm. That was maybe going to be my next wear test. They got delayed until July or August, oh, which is a bummer. I saw They're someone to drop say on the 16th something of February. about the they like switched them out with those like the gold ones, right? Yep. Essentially. So I'm yep. like, what? So I I said screw it. I went to go and I bought a pair. They were like two hundred and sixty bucks, which is like That's twenty dollars over retail, which they're probably gonna resell, honestly. I don't think they're gonna go for under retail. Those eighty fives never do. So And like they always resell for around that like high mm-hmm. twos low threes. it's the same exact right. thing i did with the georgetowns when those came out i bought them like two months early and the price was the exact same and i'm wanted a personal pair so i it's going to take two me. or three weeks to ship anyways but it's you know. kind of cooler to do the wear test before they come out too true yeah maybe i'll do that then people kind of know but mm-hmm. i'm excited to um, see that. this next one i feel like you and I have a direct reflection and direct <laughs> impact on this. Yeah. Uh, Lee Ning, Wade Wade, Kicks Crew, Austin Reeves shoes, which I'm posting a video tomorrow. Um, the demand has spiked over 500% in the last year for Chinese basketball shoes. Uh, Lee Isn't Ning, Anta, Rigger, they're all being sold on the platform Kicks Crew, which just did a brand deal for them, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, Wave Wade tens, a one thousand and fifty five percent increase. Wave Wade that eights, shoe is like four hundred seventy percent increase. I love the tens. Honestly, the tens, I've played a lot of basketball in them, and really? every time I wore them at Winona or the YMCA, people were like, I've "Seen those? Do you like them?" And I've Isn't loved them. They're they're good quality shoe. They're built really well. I think they're two twenty retail, but honestly. Possible. It's yeah. really, really well built. Um, hey, just the quality is sick. They sent me, of course, a size 11 in those too, so I can't ever wear them. But what color that yellow you? pair? They're sick. Yeah, I know, I know at this point. I'm like, might as well. <laughs> just, I, you should send them my way. I will. At this um, point, I got to clear up space. <laughs> hey, there you go. Um, yeah, no, I like them a lot. I have, I, uh, I actually lost one of the shoes. I had uh, <laughs> I had a blue and white pair, and they got put in the back of my car, and then didn't play hoops for a while. We were busy over the summer, and then I went to clean out my car, and there was only one shoe, the right shoe, 
so I actually sent the left shoe to Dead Sock Anatomy, the guy that does the breakdowns of the yep. shoe. So he may or may not ever use it, but I was like, hey, I got this extra shoe. Like, do you want it? He's like, sure. So, um, might as if well. You ever see one of those? There, there it is. Yeah, but no. uh, Wave Wade's, yeah, Wave Wade 9, 10, 7, 8, 10. You're welcome. Popular, I think. Leaning. Yep, the uh, Anta just signed Kyrie Irving. We just got a first look at his. This is an interesting breakdown here. Um, so the performance basketball sneaker U.S. market share by brand. Wow, this is crazy. Actually, I didn't see this before. So it's basically a big pie chart: 2022 versus 2023. Uh, the 2022 pie chart: 68 percent of the basketball shoes that were worn just brand share. Mm-hmm. market share uh 68% Nike Jordan was 11% Adidas was 10% leaning in way away was 5.3% Puma was 3.5% other was 2% flash forward to 2023 instead of 68% from Nike it was 44.2% which is that's a big drop for a brand yeah. like Nike um Jordan dropped all the way to 5% Lost six percent of market share. That's insane to me. But also, yeah, that's big. Um, makes sense. Li Ning and Wave Wade jumped from five percent to thirty three point two percent of market share, which is number Lame. two, almost passing Nike, eleven percent away from Nike. Which they have another eight percent in Rigor or Anta, um, which is almost higher. Anta is almost higher than Jordan, which is nuts. And then Adidas went down three percent too. So. Every one of them went down percentage besides leaning into way wide <laughs> ringer. Dude, that I mean, that's crazy. This graphic alone. I don't, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, leaning and way of weight are making a charge. Dude, in the hoop all I'm saying department. is my price just went up. <laughs> way of way. Now that I know this, yeah. <laughs> and like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. But come on, content I have creators did 130 that. million views for Way of Wade. Yeah, just me. It's like you probably got another. I don't know, 10, 20 million. They they on TikTok they pretty much they almost always land around like four to six hundred k. Yep. Over time. I don't think the ones I posted recently were like crazy, crazy, but mm-hmm. yep. yeah, they're typically doing numbers, but yeah. Jeez. Dude. Yeah, dude. Like that's honestly, that's just you and me. We brought think wave so. way into the forefront. <laughs> I think so. So yeah, this is, I saw this report a couple hours ago on Soul Retriever. This graphic is actually bonkers. I think we need to it's post nuts. this to her. I'll post this to our Instagram story. Um, yeah, when this podcast drops, because this is, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of one of those things that I was not expecting to see. So <laughs> keep your eye out for leaning and wave wade. <laughs> that blew my mind. I'm curious to see where yeah, it's going to end crazy. this year. You know? That's nuts. Yeah, 2024. Oh. What's that going to look like? I feel because like now they have Adidas even bigger names like gonna be Kyrie Irving, huge. Jokic. And Austin Reeves is even dropping more colorways of their AR1, which didn't drop until late last year. So yeah. rigor is going to be way higher. Bro, that's that's nuts. That's just yeah, that's that's not on crazy. my 2024 bingo card. Mm-mm, not at all. Um, next one here, pretty cool move by Nike. They signed Kai Sinant, Twitch streamer. I don't know if, if people aren't familiar with him. He basically is... Number top three Twitch streamers, it's Aiden Ross, Kai, and uh, Jinxie. And then XQC is kind of the other big one. I never watch their streams. I just know them from clips. Um, and I was actually yeah. explaining this to my wife the other day, like who he is. Because if you're not on TikTok or you're not on Twitch, you probably don't know who they are. But they're huge. They have hundreds of thousands of followers and subscribers that pay monthly to be a member. And they have hundreds of thousands of people watching their live streams daily. Just daily stuff of them unboxing stuff, rappers in the video, yeah, reacting to videos. I mean, they just stream all day and they make a ton of money. So 
That's insane. I know he's a big Nike guy, and he's posted a lot of it, pictures with he's been on Nike sneaker shoes, shopping, skunks. Right? Yeah, he was on sneaker shopping at Good mm-hmm. Times in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, he's yeah, here's he's, he's sitting here with Drake. I mean, with Drake Nocta's on. So, I mean, he's got pull. Super, he's got pull. Yeah, here he is, right here. With... Yeah, that's yeah. That's, so I'm in the wrong freaking industry, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a tough one to break into. I mean, you got to be something special because think of all the people that are doing it now, too. You got to have that, like, super charismatic, like, just energy that's very attractive. But Well, maybe um, you'll see him this weekend. He'll be at the celebrity game playing in it. He's playing in it? Dude, that's wild. <laughs> like, that's insane, right? Are you Are you going to the celebrity game, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, that's I think that's it. cooler than the NBA All Star Game, honestly. I mean, yeah, in my opinion, that's sweet. I'd that yeah, be. so you'll get some clips of him hooping. <laughs> I have to now. There y'all you go. See, y'all gonna see it in the vlog. I'm. We don't have any numbers, but I'm curious, like if he's getting paid or if we got a signature shoe coming or what. Uh... Plot twist: They just invited him to the Nike Three Six Five partnership. That would be really funny. Dude, he would make a bag. <laughs> yeah, <that>. he would. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't need it. Uh, he's no makes hundreds of thousands a month just from subs, let alone brand deals. So it's ridiculous. So proud of you. Proud of you. That guy. one's crazy. Um, another big one we just got news of. Soul Savvy broke this one. Um, this one's on Sneaker Bar Detroit website, though. Ooh, the Black Cement 3 is yeah. coming back as a reimagined. That's crazy to me. That I've never been a big Black Cement 3 person, but, but they're clean. I mean, they're not my... Ah, ooh, I don't know. Like, as far as classic 3s go, this is probably up there for me personally. Like, I would yeah. try and rock it, but... This has always gave me, I've always, I've said it on this podcast a hundred times, I just all black silhouettes I've never been a huge fan of, which I'm kind of yeah. switching it up slowly just because they're even more low-key than white silhouettes and they don't get as dirty. But the uh, it's the same thing with fours. Like I've always, always wanted a pair of white cement Jordan fours. I've never had a pair, mm-hmm. super expensive old pairs. Um and I've never had a pair of bread fours. I've just have never been a huge fan of the model. And then I just got these leather ones in and I like them a lot. And it's the same thing with the threes. I think where it's these give me bread vibes where white cement three is super sweet. I like them a lot. And these coming out, I think I'll probably get a pair of these probably just cause it's a classic. And once I get them, I'll like them, but and it's I've a holiday release too, dude. Those are going to be, yeah. well, fine. white cement threes did not, do so hot these these will probably be sitting around i mean they still I hope they do sold. the same amount they, of effort well, they on these, like so other many. ones too they dropped like i mean i don't even know an exact number i'm sure a, a milli at least yeah. of the white cements which they is restocked so them many. a lot too yeah but that's why there were so many quality control issues because it's like <laughs> yeah we dropped that's a million true. pairs yeah. and now they're like in ross <laughs> it's just like yeah what the are you big gonna pairs. do man <laughs> yeah but for a holiday release, that's going to be a crazy, like, just gift for the kids. Like, you know, whoever, mm-hmm. family members. I can see Andy's and... family pick up. Oh. All of them getting the. For sure. Black Cement 3s for Christmas. If he does that, we call it. From what I saw, they are going to have just, like, the same kind of treatment as the other pair, where it's just, like, a little, little yellowing on the midsole. It's going to see that retro shape, so. I, That's I, what I hope. Cool I mean, they did a good job with the white cement threes. Reimagined. Yeah, I liked them. The box was cool. Like the whole it. thing was cool. The only downside of this is they are replacing the black cats that everyone was thinking we were going to be getting this holiday mm, season. I didn't and, know that. Yeah, I saw that the black cats are now pushed to like the beginning of 2025, which honestly isn't that far away from when they would have been releasing. <laughs> It's like, oh, it's just a few months later. So it's a cool release. I didn't know They're that. going to be all over the place. Yep. Sorry to break your heart. Um, Next up. 
this is one that we've been talking about. We talked about this at the end of the year, how we didn't see these. We're finally getting the super, super expensive wings collection from Jordan. So what this is, basically, it's super high quality versions of the Jordan 1 from what I'm seeing, highs and lows. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a collab with a company in Italy, made in Italy, hit. Um, the Wings is basically just the name for their really, really nice quality. The leather looks insane. If you're not watching the video feed, check these out because they look nice. But the big kicker is retail price um, is coming in at... What do we got? We got nine seventy five for the highs and eight seventy five for the lows. Crazy. For it's, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it because I was really excited for these when they first told us about them, and the colorways are pretty bare bones. Like I think this low is just like all sail or all white with like a gum outsole, which is. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Like I would rock that shoe all the time, but mm-hmm. it's like you would think they would either do retro colorways to make it more appealing, or they would just give us something new, like a little different, switch it up a little bit instead of making it like just a pure bare bones luxury shoe. Do you see the the pair that leaked today? The mm-hmm. highs. They're disgusting. <laughs> They're like actually disgusting. It's this all black, like pony hair upper. Nah. Like, mm-mm. yep. <laughs> I'm just like for $975. Yeah, those are gross. Um, they couldn't sell those for 80 Well, the one thing I do think about. Think about the luxury brands like Balenciaga and yeah. these really, really, really high fashion brands. I think that's what they're trying to do is they're trying to be – I mean, some of the Balenciaga shoes are super ugly, but they that's retail fair. for like $1,400. And this yeah. is totally like – do you follow, you know the couple Pookie and Jet on TikTok oh, where they got the high yeah. fashion stuff or the even the – the TikTok people where they go up to people like fancy people in Beverly Hills and they're like, what are you wearing? I got the Louis Vuitton on. Like this is yeah. that demographic. Like it's a thousand dollars. People with a ton of money are going to buy them it, pony hair, all black gum outsole. That's something that I could see like somebody with a ton of money wearing with some crazy outfit. Everyday person's never wearing these. True. Now the lows, the like cream lows with the gum bottom. I would rock. For yeah, sure. those those Honestly, I could see for sure, and even the too. the sale highs with the raw edging on the leather. I mean, honestly, you could probably like. I might have to hit up Jordan. I want to see if we can import leather from Italy, and have him make a pair and see if he can personally. That this might be a little. I just came up with a content idea for yep. you, Jordan. Um, see if he can make up identical pair. Same materials, same everything by hand and see how cheap you can make them. That would be fascinating. Because I know the leather, the material itself is not cheap, especially when you're importing no. it from Italy. And so Nike probably, hey, here's our 85% margins that we have on every shoe with the cheap materials. Well, now we got to spend $100 in material. We're going to keep that 80% margin and kick it up to $1,000 retail. That That's probably the mindset they had. So it wouldn't surprise me. At yeah. At all. They're cool. I just, I just want to see a pair in hand. Yeah. I, Wear I'm test them. <laughs> Bro, that would go so hard. Um, This one was kind of funny. Uh, The Air Max TN or DN, D. my mistake, Air Max DN that we just talked about got released in London. We don't even have an official release of these yet, but there's already a Supreme variant out there coming out. Because so, why not? Yeah, exactly. I, I don't care about Supreme, but I think this looks really good. They look, you know, I don't know. They look better than the launch colorway because that purple, I'm just, pink, whatever. I'm like, oh. I've never liked Supreme. I, I like Same. the history of it, the marketing aspect of it, the drops that they do. Personally, I've never had any. I got a box logo sticker. That's my extent of it. But I, I don't even have that. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, it's Nothing. it's a really interesting marketing company if you think about it. Just putting your brand name on. It's kind of what Sunday is doing where you talked about it. Oh, it's yeah. the exact. That's what they're trying to build at Sunday. But I, I don't know. Supreme's washed. At this point. I think this is Nike's attempt to try to hype up this new DN, which I think the model's cool. I want to get them in hand, but yeah. I do want to try them out and just just see. But I don't, that's just not a shoe, not a silhouette that would be in my rotation. It's got to work with sweats or something like that. Like, a, oh, yeah. it's giving me Air Max 270 vibes big time. At the shape? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can definitely see that now that you say it. So if you want huh. the ends, now you're getting a Supreme. DN it Merry up. Christmas. Merry um Christmas. you kind of touched on this earlier. Hardens. The hardens. Yeah. Yep. They're pretty cool. I mean, like what's it say? I think they drop on February twenty third, retails one sixty. I think it's a real it's a cool silhouette. Like these the A ones, like they're gonna have a pretty big year, so I'm excited. Adidas, that that pie chart we saw, Adidas basketball is gonna be a big chunk of that this year for sure. Yeah, I'm just curious to see where Nike lands. <laughs> I mean, they have see. not had a slouch year. I mean, if we're looking, no. now I'm very curious to see the end of the year because they had the GT cuts come out. They've done good well model. This I got year. those hand in hand, high retail, but they also have the GT Academies, which is like a cheaper mesh version. The Kobe's, that's Nike. That they've had yeah. a huge resurgence of more drops of those. Um, I mean, there's been big stuff. It's just and the KDs this year too. KDs, KD four Weathermans. Uh, we got the Nerfs coming out in a week or so. I mean, or the Galaxies coming out. Yeah. Then we have the Nerfs. Uh, we got some. Yeah, that that pie chart's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it now. I like this white pair of Hardens though. That's cool. I know. I, Those are clean. There's some cool colorways, like the white. I like the black and white, the black and orange. Mm-hmm. The green is all right. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, there you go. We'll Harden. We'll see how they do. Uh, this is one that you can talk about. I'm not familiar with these. CDG New Balance oh, yeah. 860 V2 arriving these fall and just... winter. <laughs> I don't understand CDG, man. It's like they're jound. like exactly. They're just the jound of high fashion. Like all of their collabs, I will say this one's different, but all their collabs are just black and white. This, they're literally just like here's a gray New Balance, and I'm like, we can't. It's keep it's getting away with this. <laughs> I mean, again, if we look back at Sunday, I mean, yeah, everything sure. they do is that teal. I mean, that's just, there's different brand languages, I think. And when you think of, like, Supreme, all they do is slap their name on everything. Valid. Um, What else we got? Yeah, it's just, I mean, I'm sure there's hardcore CDG fans, but their shoe collabs are nothing special. The CDG Air Force One mids, the sales, I used to have a pair of those. Those were cool. Yeah. Uh, the foam posits were cool. But yeah, it's very monotone. It's very like Rick Owens, like kind of trying to be futuristic. And yeah, I would rock. This these. is just an all gray pair of New Balances, by the way. Yeah, it's it's different shades of gray, but like this is like I walk into JD Sports and this is just sitting there, and I wouldn't think anything. Yeah, twice about it as a fan <laughs> of the brand too. I'm just like, okay. Same with the black pair. Yeah, it's just. There's also very, black bear. Nothing special there. Black and gray. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, know, I was trying to find a retail price. I'm not seeing one, but they're always probably be a little bit higher there. than usual. Yeah, because I think the CDG 2002 R's, or no, 1906 protection pack style they did was like 260. Jeez. And I was, I was real confused. And then StockX, they're like 130. <laughs> I was like, that's nuts. <laughs> I almost picked up a pair just to be like, I'm curious what the materials better. Like New Balance already has good materials. Like, what are you bringing to the table here? Yeah, but ah, eh, it's a pass. 
It's a pass for me too. Uh, last one here. Salehi Bembury. Back in the news. Futura. With Futura, yeah. Both back in the news. Yep. They look like they're all blue. Pollux Crocs. And Pollux Crocs, Pollux Crocs. When I was recording my weekly sneakers dropping, I had to record that like 40 times because I just kept screwing it up. I'm like, the Salehi Bembury Crocs with Futura are dropping a limited shoe to a thousand with the Crocs Pollux or the Pollux. Yep. I, I just did it. I did it wrong, but Pollux, Crocs, um, Crocs, Crocs, Pollux. they're basically just a blue Pollux Croc, but they look like they're dip dyed like, or uh, exactly hydro dipped. Say. Is that what it's yep. called mm-hmm. with the, the foil and the hydro dip them? Um, thousand pairs of these $95 retail. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they drop I on mean, the 15th, so by the time you listen to this, they've already dropped. Yeah. <laughs> just wanted to there throw them in there. Cause... Let's let's make predictions. What do we think retail resale is going to be? Oh, see, that's fascinating. Um, I don't know what Pollocks are going for now. I know they're, like, cheap, but mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, like, 380 That's That's a pretty good number. I was going right? to say... 250 to 300 yeah because i know curious the uh i had a pair of those paris exclusives the white pair that was limited to 500 pairs and those were like 300 so but they didn't have futura's name on it and i don't think really anybody cared about those so yeah i'm they're cool really curious to see yeah i mean like if i got them for retail i i don't know if i would keep them but i'd be like yeah, wear them every now and then. I don't know. They're not yeah. terrible. But there you go. Nothing nothing too impressive. Yeah. In my opinion. But that's really it, dude. That's it. We'll have gotta, a fun uh, weekend. Yeah. I got to start packing up. It's all just kind of laid out everywhere right now. So I got to figure <laughs> out how to stick it in the suitcase. And probably try on five more outfits with these hardens to land on something. Figuring it out. We got to get some fit picks and stuff when you get there too. Set up a tripod or something. Oh, I'm gonna. I got. I have to. They were like, "We want you to do essentially a fit pick on the court." And I was like, uh, "That's so sick, dude." And I was that's like, living the life. <sighs> what do I wear? Big guns. And I've gone to the mall down the street too to try and find some like Adidas drip to help. Mm-hmm. Nothing. There's like none. <laughs> I was like, I'm screwed. Yeah, I have enough. no idea what to do. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll figure it out. But y'all will all see. I'll send you photos this comes out. there throughout the day. Oh, yeah. If you have time. Oh, I always have time. For I know you. it'll be busy, but. I always have time for you, Charlie. There you go. But, yep, that's Sweet. it. Thanks for listening. We will, yep, catch y'all next week. Peace.